Hello Pisces, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you reading. So we're gonna look at how they feel about you, but also what their next actions are going to be towards you. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Check out my playlist for Pisces for more readings for your sign. It'll be linked in the description box. Spirits, angels, guides. Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? Okay, we have pure seduction. Okay, so they're very attracted to you. There's a desire here for sure. Moving forward. Hmm. Interesting. There could be a cycle ending here for you or for your person, but this is how they're thinking or feeling about you. So they might be thinking that you are moving on. We'll see. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces. What are you thinking or feeling? Expect a message. I have a choice to make. So they're going to be reaching out. They have a choice to make. Oh, interesting. The plot thickens. Does this choice involve you? We'll see. This is a choice between you and another person, between you and a job, you and a location. What is going on here? Let's look. Spirit, tell me, what is this person thinking? Okay, if I could shuffle, that'd be great. What is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? What are they thinking? I cannot shuffle this deck. What's going on? <laughs> Bear with me, Pisces. Really thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces or this connection with Pisces. Okay, we have here the King of Pentacles and the Empress. Wow, okay. Then we have the High Priestess. I this one fell out with it. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. So they feel a bit um, out in the cold. I feel like they are... Uh, I feel like they're, they've been... kind of shut out here, Pisces. Or they might have shut you out. I find it very interesting that the King of Pentacles and the Empress are here. These are two very serious energies and usually they're already in commitments. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Wheel of Fortune, okay. What's this? The Magician. Okay, so this person is determined to make something happen here. Manifesting an opportunity, luck on their side, page of swords. So yeah, they're going to be reaching out for sure. What do they want to talk about? Do they want to talk about what they want to get done? Or is this them actually, like this is what they're getting done, talking to you. Tell me, tell me about this page of swords. Two of Pentacles, okay, so is this the choice? Tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Three of Cups. Yeah, this could be um, this could be a choice between two, pe two people. Are you dealing with a third party, uh, Pisces? Because I feel like this is someone that's debating between who to go with or whether to reunite or come together with someone here. And it's like they want to talk to you about that. 
or maybe they've already made their choice and they're going to tell you. This could even be like a parental figure or, you know, it does not have to be another romantic person. Tell me about the Empress. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Empress. Wow, Judgment and the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I really hope this person isn't already in a commitment with another person. Because who are all these people? <laughs> I feel like this Empress could be you, but I don't know. It makes more sense to me that you are, I mean, it could be that you are this Queen uh, Empress and the Queen of Pentacles is the other person. The world, what's this? And the lovers. We have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. It's like this person, I really feel like they're choosing a person or a partner to have something new. I mean, it could be that they're choosing you over their family, over their friends, over another person that they're with. Tell me if that's resonating for you. So why is the High Priestess here with the Five of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's like a, a resistance, a block here. Against this offer. So it could be that you're not interested. Or you're being very guarded, especially with that Queen of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. I really hope there's not already a long-term commitment here. Because I feel like if there is, you are pretty much, I feel like, shutting this person out. Or being very, like, you don't trust. Very wary. Very careful. I don't know what's going on with this deck. I mean, I cannot shuffle it. Seven of cups and then the sign at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like for you, it's very confusing almost. Or like this choice. I don't know. There's something off here. And I'm not seeing it. So if you know what it is, let me know. But I feel like, yeah, eight of swords. There's fear here because... I feel like this is you. You don't know something or you feel like you don't know something or maybe you've been deceived already um, to the point where now you're very guarded. Um, and it's almost like you are in protection mode against whatever offer this is um, because you don't have all of the answers or the clarity that you need. King of Wands. Interesting. I feel like this is somebody that probably already was in some other situation. And now it's like they might be attracted to you, desiring you, and they might be leaving that other connection. So let's see. What are their next actions going to be, Pisces? Spirit, what are their next actions going to be? Towards Pisces or this connection. What are their next actions? Next action is going to be. What are their next action is going to be? Okay, we have the King of Wands. What are their next action is going to be? Seven of Wands and the Lovers. Yeah, this is someone that's going to make a choice between who they want to be with or something like that. But there's obstacles here. It's not going to be so easy for this person. 
Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? Two of Cups. Yeah, why the Seven of Wands? We have the Hermit. Virgo energy. Can I get another one for the Seven of Wands? Five of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like someone is very like, um, it's almost like they were, I don't know. I'm really hoping that if this person had another commitment that you kind of froze them out, you guarded yourself, you cut them off or you ghosted them or something like that. You separated yourself. Someone separated themselves from whatever this is. And it's because of another partnership is what I'm feeling here. If that's not your story, the other story that I'm seeing is someone who is willing to fight for this, despite the fact that there is a huge emotional distance here. I mean, there's a huge like block in communication or block in distance and, and like being together like this i'm picturing two like people that are very far apart from each other tell me about this king of wands why is the king of wands here the hangman why is the king of wands here the tower holy crap Yeah, this person, I feel the three of wands, they're probably going to cause a tower. They're just waiting for the right time. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the higher font, Taurus energy. And right after that, the seven of swords. So it may very well be that they're going to end a commitment here or cause a disruption in a commitment, or perhaps they're doing something really unexpected of them. And I feel like they're waiting for the right time with the hangman and the three of wands. Tell me about the lovers. The sun. Death. Yep. Scorpio energy. Tell me about the lovers. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is someone definitely walking away from a connection. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is the choice that your person is making. They're deciding to walk away from something. End something. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? Yeah, for the Ten of Cups. So they're walking away from something in order to have... A ten of cups, the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. So yeah, that's the story. That's what I'm getting. Pisces, let me know if that resonated for you. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who uh, likes, shares, subscribes, leaves me kind comments. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. If you want to know about my personal readings, my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, my cards or the decks that I design, the Oracle decks I design or the cards that I use. All of that information is in the description box. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.